welcome to the NIT on ESPN. Tonight, opening round action from Walsh Gymnasium, South Orange, New Jersey, the St. Joseph's Hawks out of the Atlantic 10, taking on the Seton Hall Pirates out of the Big East. Hawks controlling the opening tip. Xavier Brown, they try to get it inside. It's an early steal. Three-pointer on the way. Dan Brown, number three. The first recruit for head coach Billy Lang at St. Joe's, the graduate student. Big factor here as well. Priest to Sonico. Takes contact and he scores off the window. And keep in mind now, he is not usually a starter, as you see the Seton Hall starting five. No Lynn Greer the third tonight. He's out with an injury. So St. Joe's going big. Dylan Adewosu to the hole. Brown trying to get it in. It's Reynolds, and that's a three ball. Not going to be surprised at anything he does tonight. He scored. Here's Richmond. Wusu, three ball. That's good. He does similar play. He's a scorer, but he's unselfish at work. Yeah, well. I think so. Another three. Count it. Dylan that day, Wusu, and Seton Hall. Knocking down the outside jumpers, eight to five. Only 29% from the arc this season. Much better when he was at St. John's, but very capable. Aside the call for three. How Nielsen. about that? Brown. To the oh, hole, man. Takes it in. Terrific. He's coming off, as you know. They thought they were in the dance. Brown misses on the three. But that's always one big thing you talk about is what's the perspective of each of these two teams coming in here tonight? Well, exactly. A little bit different both ways. We'll be able to talk about that all night. Voting on this. We're not even talking about that. He was jumping out of his room when he got the call. St. Joe's, he is not bigger than the St. Joe's program. He's a great young coach. He did a spectacular job, obviously, at St. Peter's, and he's really building a good program here. The turnaround shot is good for Trey Davis. Uh, I love the year that Dre Davis has had. He, he should have been on one of those all Big East teams and maybe even player, most improved player. But very consistent. This is Kotsmer Kwasik who's in for St. Joe's. They get it inside, it gets blocked, and Reynolds puts up a three and he drains it. Quarter three is on the way. That's an air ball that time by Anthony Finkley, who's in for the first time today, the freshman from Philadelphia. Uh, only a 26% three-point shooter. <laughs> that you can experiment in the NIT for these kind of things. And then sometimes it ends up getting adopted, right, because of the three-point line. Remember, that was a change one year that it got moved back, and now here we are with it moved back. Absolutely. 30-second clock, 20 seconds on a rebound. Now, Seton Hall and, I, and Indiana State, St. John's, that probably would have gotten in if you really look at it. Here's a three from Brown. That is good. And Xavier Brown trains it for St. Joe's. If you took this young man and transported him basketball, he's a Philly guard through and through. Got it back to one of your bid stealers there for a moment. One of them came out of this conference with Duquesne. Congratulations to Keith Dambroth there of the Dukes. A longtime friend. He's going to the tournament. Great back cut right there. Great pass. Another long jumper for the Hawks. That's what they do. Three-pointer no good by Reynolds. Wosu right to the hole, and it goes down, and we're tied. That off foot. There are times during the season where I think Kadari Richmond sometimes overpasses. Look at this guy. We need, what did we tell you? They're going to count that? Count the basket, and Reynolds has a chance for the three. You know, like you, we both know St. Bonaventure right now. They, they, um, but, but I love the idea of trying things out. I'm a four-quarter guy. And we've oh. tried that, and that hasn't been implemented yet. Dunn for three. Shooter. Set from the field. St. Joe's at 42%. They've knocked down four threes. They've taken 13 as well. Make it 14, and Reynolds puts it in. We cannot leave him this season. Wide open three here for Davis. Brown feeds a streaking Fleming.
great storylines. Oh, yeah. So many people watching. I'm looking forward to seeing what goes down in that tournament this no year. No question. South Carolina's got a whole new team, but they certainly have a chance to get it done again. Are Wusu? It's been hot tonight. Of course, everybody wants to see the Iowa Hawkeyes and Caitlin right. Clark go deep. Wusu's got 13 points here for Seton Hall and coming right back again is Brown. Uh, who's been with Billy Lang since the beginning at St. Joe's. Richmond tries to dump it inside and the easy two is put in by Richmond. It stayed in play. He's a little slow to get back on the other end. Davis uh, missing and he is fouled. Team is just one for ten here and at the free throw line chance at her here living with them. Yeah, his daughter Malia and cool. And Dre is a mature young man. I got a chance to talk to him in December when they played at Baylor. Nice inbounds play. Nicely done. Terrific Big East player. Here's Richmond for Seton Hall on the bounce pass. Gets it in for Hutchins Everett and he scores. Yeah. Got four assists, but to your scoring part, he's one for four from the field. Yep. We're tied at 30. Asanico bombs up Big the three. Fella. Billy Lang says, I'm going to have this guy for a while, hopefully. Good luck for three, no good. Hawks have it. Where's Reynolds? Somebody better guard him. Quad check. <laughs> Averaging about 15 minutes of ball game. Four points, three boards, but they need him here tonight with Lynn Greer not available on the roster. The depth has come down. Here's Reynolds off to the races. What did Coach say to us earlier? A boutique scorer boutique. for Eric Reynolds? In the NBA someday. Not yet. Let's go back and watch Eric Reynolds. Absolutely. And if he's back again, he'll do the same thing. And you know, eventually he probably will find a place in the league because he does score. Davis, tough fadeaway. Wow. Let's see if they go two for one here. Never How about the Walsh Gymnasium crowd here tonight? Brown for three, and he quiets the crowd, nailing another three. That is the seventh three made in the first half. Seen Hall holding for the final shot here with 15 seconds to go. It's a six point lead. The, the clock Hawks. is stopped. Hold on. They got to stop the clock. The shot clock is not running. I think they probably meant to turn it off if there was under 30 seconds to go. And Dawes hits the three. And now with two seconds left, Reynolds got to take it away. That's Davis. It's good if it goes. And we've reached the half. For that, Fran, and sometimes you get those back to back timeouts That's right here right. in 20 seconds, and nobody needs that. A block inside by Davis for Seton Hall. Glad you got that one out of the way. That's again experimental, and watch uh, Betty Ako right here. This young man has had a phenomenal. Who's uh, put his imprint on this game? Well, Benny Ako's out with the three personal fouls. Here's Asanico, and he could do this as well. How about that big guy, Fred? Uh, I want to tell you, he moved games you did this year. He was out with injuries. Right. He's missed 10 games this season. He averages about 20 minutes of ball game, and he's going to get called for the foul inside there on the drive that time. It really is. It really is. It's a little bit more rare nowadays with the... That'd be a tough game for the Rebels traveling across. The They're going to stay in man for now. Xavier Brown trying to find the cutter was a Sonico. Instead, it's Fleming. Checked by Davis. Nice. Gets by him. Nice. That was really patient. The second foul on Dre Davis, by the way, for Seam Hall. They try to get it into him, and Fleming knocks it away from behind. And he's going to get it back from Brown and lay it in. Great catch by Fleming. He has run the floor and couple back to the quarters day off play the semis and finals. But I absolutely love the idea of expanding the field. Yeah. How cool would that be right. Everybody converges on one location and in you're Vegas. There. Yeah. yeah. But getting back to the NCAA in the field. OK. All right. So what we're going to do is Ole Miss money. OK. We know bowl games March Madness. It's about whistle. 
but they're going to play on. You. Well, Eddie Corbett Jr. is over there checking out on one of the referees, make no. sure he's all right. He comes back, and and Seed Hall gets a three. And that's okay, the and that's what happened as a result of that. But when you have the ball in your backcourt going to the front court, and you have a player lying down on the ground, I think you have to blow that whistle. Good for Seton Hall. That's a quick little four-point burst here for the Pirates. They were down eight. It's been cut in half. Asan Nico scores it. Absolutely. Oh, he's got a chance to be a terrific A-10 player. It's on top to Dawes, gets the screen, puts it up, and in. Good patience. Brown back to Asanico. They do it again. How good is that freshman? Seven foot two. Definitely wants to get it to his teammates, but he hasn't really taken the assertive action offensively. He's two of six in the field with four points. Reynolds pulls up and he drains it. That guy's been assertive all night long. Davis. Good offensive rebound here. Elijah Hutchins Everett. And that goes down. Stayed with it. Good effort. Over by the Hawks before the timeout. Addy Wusu gets it into the lane and finds Davis for the two. Too easy, but a good job of Seton Hall coming out of that timeout. Run a nice little dribble handoff set. Now, uh oh, uh oh. Reynolds Watch out. Got to take it away, and the cutter is Coleman. No, the follow is there. Good job by Davis. Well, Hawks got to get their composure. Reynolds. Takes the contact and puts it in. Wow. He contorts his body. That's what we mean by a three-level scorer. Reynolds has had 20 or more points in a game. He's got 20 so far, 8 of 15 from the field. It's a four-point lead for the Hawks as the easy bucket there for Dawes as he works his way in. Against GW. But the <laughs> okay. history of the Hawk mascot goes back to the early 50s. And uh, it's an incredible basketball tradition in the city of Brotherly Life. For seven. Xavier Brown, he's trying to get it back into Asadico. It's taken away. He threw that one-handed, not enough mustard. Does. Pops a three. He's at six. Cameron Brown gets it back. It's a three for the tie. It's short. And Iwusu falling down and trying contact. Right, I know there's disappointment about the NCAA tournament, but and I thought you made a point to me earlier today when we were talking. There he is. Shot clock again, five to shoot. Cameron Brown got to put it up. Uh, I don't like these shots, Whoa. but hey, okay, my bad. Banked it in, 30 feet. Coleman. Here's Dawes. Slashes through and Reynolds blocks it. He thought he had a block and they called him for the foul. You realize over the course of a season you say, oh, he's a 90 percent free throw shooter. Yeah, he's yeah. nine for ten. Right. <laughs> right. This is Xavier Brown. Look at the move and he got fouled. They're going to call it on Coleman. It wasn't on the block. It was on the initial defense. And Reynolds, and now here is Xavier Brown. Now he's got a chance to cut this lead back to two. But he's been out there a long time. Many of their starters have. They're a man down tonight with no Lynn Greer. It's a shorter bench, that's for sure. Driving in is Richmond. He's fouled. And free throws coming for 20 plus. And he does that. He's played the entire game here tonight. Yes. Here's Cameron Brown and Reynolds off the screen. Got a good look for three, but they cannot buy a bucket from the outside. The second half, and it's how they lose to. Big bucket there, and a big bucket of the three in the other end by Xavier Brown. That was important. Seven. Cam Brown. The sign to come. Oh, that's a blocking foul. And a side to with a push off there. I think they called the initial block, but boy, a little bit of a forearm right at the end of that. 
So coming off the screen, it's Reynolds, and how big is that? And that's just going to incite the crowd even more as it's a one-point game. So St. Joe's goes one of 15 in the second half from three-point range, and they hit their last two in a row as Dawes misses on the three, and the Hawks have it and can regain the lead. Reynolds is underneath the hoop right now. Watch the handoff here. There it is. Reynolds up to Fleming. Still 10 to shoot. Xavier Brown gets shut off of the baseline. And a timeout, says Billy Lang. Through it. And they're going to go two-man game with the big fella and Reynolds. Watch him come back to it. See, Hall also has a foul to give here. They have five team fouls. They get oh! it inside for Cameron Brown. What a pass. Well, the reason that play was so good was because the defense was focusing on Reynolds coming off to the baseline. Terrific set. Billy Lang on the sideline with a fist pump there for the Hawks, who are on an 8 0 run to regain the lead by one. Richmond gets it to Davis. Gotta shoot that. Tough fadeaway baseline. It's long. Xavier Brown's got it. Now keep in mind, Seton Hall is not going to foul yet, but there's still one foul from the bonus. Remember, possession error also favors St. Joe's if we get a jump. I just love getting the ball back to Reynolds in this situation. Here he is, Reynolds. You've been calling for it. They give it to the man, and he puts the Hawks by three. The ball gets inbounded to Richmond. An 11 and a half second differential shot clock and game clock. Here's Dawes, relocates, puts up a three. It's good. Tied at 68. St. Joe's can hold for the final shot. Yes, they can, and they should. Don't need to shoot this until you got about five. Each team with a timeout remaining. Possession arrow to the Hawks. Ball in the hands of Xavier Brown. Hassan to come with the screen. Brown takes it. Kicks it back to the top. Cameron Brown takes the step, and he's blocked by Davis. Adewusu. No. And extra time coming here from South Orange, New Jersey. Timeouts are down two apiece. And the Pirates will win the tip. Overtime records. St. Joe's 0-1. They lost to Kentucky. Remember, they almost beat Kentucky earlier this season. And yes. Seton Hall 0-1 uh, as they lost to Creighton in three overtimes. A little side-to-side -side ball movement action here. Good hustle. Xavier Brown. To Cam Brown. Still 10 to shoot, Asan to come. Oh, nice no pass. pass to Fleming, got knocked away by Dawes. He just saved two points because that was a chippy. Nice. And he dishes it for two points to Bediaco. Overtime, coming up on three minutes remaining. It's the Pirates by two. Xavier Brown, what a crossover to the hole. We're tied at 70. Freshman, folks. That's a freshman. No longer a freshman, probably. He's at 35 minutes in this game here tonight. 11 ties, nine lead changes. I would get out of his way. I wouldn't even screen for him. Reynolds has three to shoot. It's up. No good. Rebound by the Pirates. Two minutes to go in overtime. Richmond off the screen. Good defense there by Brown. Got it to Davis. Back to Davis. Three to shoot. Foul line jumper. Yes. Xavier Brown, he tried to bounce it into Asanico, it's taken away. And it's right back the other way to the Hawks. They got numbers, push it, shoot it. 
Hobbs pressures. Oh, look at this! Xavier Bradley with Sadako. Prior to that, we had a foul. Watch Reynolds. He's got him. You called it, Reynolds! And it goes down. We're tied at 72. Fred, you're all over it. No, this is this is what we love. Joy, man. If you don't love basketball, don't don't, don't put your team in this tournament. Dawes with under a minute to go here for Seton Hall. Working on Reynolds with a matchup that's been. Dawes got it back. That's a three. Brown again finally gets it in. Again, dicey situation to Xavier Brown. Back to Cameron Brown. His three point is blocked. It was blocked by Richmond. Seton Hall has it. Don't have to foul, but you have to get the defensive rebound. And if you're the Pirates, utilize clock. It's a nine and a half second differential between the shot clock and the game clock here. Does. To the corner. Back over to Richmond. Fakes on the three, takes it in. It's inside. The shot is up. No, it did hit the rim. Oh, they're calling a shot clock violation. Not here for Seton Hall. What, what Shaheen is saying is that the ball hit the rim, which they should have reviewed. And they are letting the Hawks have it here with 8.1 seconds to go. Here comes Reynolds off the court, puts up the three for the tie. No, it's tapped around, and Seton Hall's going to win it. 75 to 72 the final and they move on to the second round of the NIT.